Tina. I'm Ross. And today we have some yummy biscuits given to us by our kind viewer, Richard. Thank you so much, Richard. These are McVitie's Blissfuls. And these, some of these may have come out. That one looks like it may be a Christmas special. It says limited edition. Which one is that? This one is Belgium milk chocolate and cream. And you have there. We have Belgian milk chocolate and hazelnut. Belgian milk chocolate and caramel. And as a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> we have new Milky Way biscuits. Well, that'll be interesting to try. Yes. But before we get started, we also got a letter in our P.O. box from Miguel in Indiana. So we want to open that up and see what is inside. Yes, Miguel, thank you very much. Yes, thank you for taking the time to send us something to our P.O. box. says, hi, Tina and Ross. I love that video because that video about a Milky Way chocolate. Well, that's interesting because we're doing Milky Way today. But today I have some bad news. In 2022, my mom told that I will not be able to eat sticky stuff on my braces. Oh, that wow. is a bummer. I had braces when I was a teenager. And besides being self-conscious about how I looked, it was awful trying to eat stuff and stuff getting caught in your braces and you had to be careful about what you ate. Nice thing is it's temporary. So it says, so how can I eat this candy that are not sticky and have ones on my braces? Hard ones. Okay. And hard ones on my... So how can I eat this candy that are not sticky and hard ones on my braces? Please send a letter back and I'll read it. Signed, Miguel. Oh, thank you. June 19th. So now it's July. So I don't know if it's been in our PO box a while. We hadn't been over there for a while. So thank you, Miguel. I wish we had, uh, yeah, I just feel like, I wish we had better advice. I feel like there's just certain foods when you have braces that you have to avoid. You have to be really careful when you have braces on and um, with the things that you can eat because if it's sticky, you don't want it getting stuck to your braces. That's really hard to get out. It was kind of reminded me of when I, picked up some British toffee for my mother um, and she was suspecting it was going to be brittle uh, like thin brittle toffees that we have here in the United States and it was much thicker long story short she broke some teeth on it and we saw some comments later in some videos that said well you know you, you can actually just kind of just put it in your mouth. You don't have to, you know, chew and chomp mm -hmm. on it. You can just put it in your mouth and just kind of like slowly let, let it. it dissolve. That's what I was thinking too. If it's a hard candy, maybe just let it slowly dissolve in your mouth. Try not to chew on it because once you start chewing on it, we even have to be careful now. Even though I don't have braces anymore, I have some fillings, and sometimes fillings can get pulled out, and that's no fun yeah. because then it means a trip to the dentist. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, hang in there, Miguel, with the braces. You'll be really happy when they finally come off and. And you have beautiful teeth afterwards. So thanks again, Miguel. Thank you. All right. So shall we get into trying some of these blissfuls? Yes. Uh, these three. Now, was this the one, only one that was limited edition? That's the limited edition one, yeah. Okay. The other ones say new. New. So I, I don't know. We got these a while ago, so they may not be so new anymore. And this one, I was trying to figure out... Double layered Belgian milk chocolate and cream filling. Okay, because at first when I saw this, I thought, oh, does it have white chocolate? But it says it has cream filling. So why don't we try that one first? Okay. You wanna go ahead and open that? Tina has spoken. <laughs> so, here we go. Truth be told, Tina loves anything that says limited edition, <laughs> exclusive. Yeah, I'm thinking about Miguel's plight with, I don't know, I, I didn't have braces as a kid, and I, I just, yeah, that'd be hard. Yeah. Just just knowing there's all these you know, like candies you want to eat. And yeah, I remember being very self-conscious about what I ate and, and having to be careful about that. And then, you know, even for a while afterwards, we have to have the retainers in full time. You have to be careful and take them out and what you're eating with them. But yeah, I did have a retainer. Yeah. Mm. There you go. Close up of it. Like a nice 
nice thick biscuits. Yeah, here I was thinking it's like, oh, it's got the white chocolate on it, but it's like, oh no, that's that cream's nice. Yeah, you can see both layers, the chocolate mm -hmm. and the cream layer. These, these are good. Biscuit part's very crunchy, but there's a lot of creamy center in there. Ooh, those are good. Yeah. <laughs> Would you dunk these? Mmm. I'm It'd be interesting to try. Maybe I'll try it because I do have some coffee. If I'm going to let some chocolate dip into something, it would be coffee because I'm thinking it's so... The center is, is almost... I don't know if it's because it's summer here and we're a little bit warm. No. But it is a little bit gooey and melty. So I don't know if that's typically how it is in colder weather, but that's how it is for us right now. And it is very good. Yeah, I really like those. Yeah. But I'm just kind of concerned with, you know, especially with all the little open parts of it, like whether that chocolate would get in there. But that's not such a bad thing with coffee. Yeah. All right, so are we up for the next one? Belgian milk chocolate and hazelnut. Okay. Both love hazelnut. We do. I feel like we're starting to see more hazelnut here in the U.S., whereas in, like before you didn't see it that much. And so I'm happy to see that. It's like becoming there's... more popular. No. Yeah. Uh, the bueno bars. Seems like we're seeing those more and more mm -hmm. in different stores. That? All right, maybe I'll try a quick dip of this one. Quick dunk. Mm. Make a mess. <laughs> see the, the filling on the sides. Mm. It's mm. nice dunk, but a little messy. <laughs> it tastes like hazelnut flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm. But yeah, what's nice about it dunked is it does soften up the biscuit part and then makes the chocolate part even more runny. So it's really soft. Nice. You're welcome to dunk in mine if you want. Double dunk? <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Oh. If I had more of the, the biscuit left, I'd like them. Well, if you want to dunk the next one, you're welcome to. Okay. We want to try that. I'll take you up on that. <laughs> I was just thinking how, you know, I've said before with the British biscuits, when they say there's a creamy filling, they really mean it. This one seems really soft. Mm-hmm. Okay. The cream part. As mentioned, I'm not sure if it's just because of the heat or that's just how these are. Oh. Like I mentioned before, with our Oreo... American mm -hmm. made Oreo cookies. The cream fillings, that pasty cream like substance, which is always the same no matter what temperature it is. Right. It is yeah. like with this pasty. It's not creamy, it's pasty. Whereas these are actually creamy center. Nice. I also noticed on the back that says, Have you tried our fully coated McVitie's biscuits? Fully coated, fully delicious. Why, yes, we, yes, have, we have tried. The McVitie's fully coated, and I have yeah. to say for the McVitie's digestive biscuits, I think those are a favorite. Yeah. I love the fully coated. Richard, thank you. Yeah, those were really good. Yeah. Oh, and it says too good not to share. Well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing it says, with the McVitie's Blissfuls, enjoy a multi-textured Moorish treat that will bring joy to your taste buds, but also to your loved ones, because with the handy pouch format, it has never been easier to share. So that is nice if, if I make it back to work and these are not gone. <laughs> I can put these in the break room and share with co-workers. <laughs> Ross is like, no, you're not. <laughs> you gotta sleep sometime. <laughs> so these are the milk chocolate and caramel. And you love milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. And you love caramel. Yes, I love. They're good. Mm. Mm. Like heaven in a bag. Do you want to try dunking? Why, thank you. 
Be <laughs> careful, it does get messy. <laughs> okay. There we go. Ready? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm-mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Twist the caramel. That's good, too. Oh, yeah. The chocolate and the caramel flavor. Yeah. These are good. I feel like I'm making a bigger mess than you are with all the chocolate I've got. Mmm. I don't think we have really an American equivalent to these. Can, can you think of the American equivalent we have? Mm -mm. Very similar to these, at least. Like we rarely can, very occasionally. Mm -hmm. These are. These are very really good. good. In a way, I'm kind of glad we didn't have these when I was younger. <laughs> I would just have such a horrible weight problem. Picking these up left and right. Cut that off. Like 20, 30 pounds heavier. <laughs> Those are so good. Whew. Did you yeah, have a tasty? Hmm? Did you have a favorite of those three? The McVitie's? <sighs> I mean, I, granted, we have one more item, but those are three McVitie items that we tried. Of the three, did you have a favorite? I'm leaning towards the milk chocolate and hazelnut because I do love that hazelnut, but I was really surprised by the milk chocolate and cream. They were all delicious though. Okay. How about you? Enjoyed all three, but having a hard time saying which one I enjoyed more. The caramel or the hazelnut. I liked them. Tough call. Yeah. Uh, a draw. They're, they're very <laughs> good. So next up, what do we have? We have this fine item here. We have Milky Way biscuits, new. And I always forget because we have Milky Way here, but it's different from the Milky Way in the UK. It's more like a, like the, um, the Milky Way here is more like the Snickers there, or is it more like the, um, I'm trying to remember now. One of them is like a Three Musketeers, I think. Oh, uh, that was it. Maybe it's kind of like the Three Musketeers then. I don't know. We have to. <laughs> you think we would remember by now, but we never do. Store in a cool, dry place, away from strong light. Well, we have stored it in a dark room, but it is middle of summer here, so we do the best we can. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness we have air conditioning. Yeah. Else everything would be in a puddle. That'd be a big mess. Well. So here we go, young lady. These fine specimens. Oh, they got like a little rocket. And what? Yeah, you're right. It's, it looks like Saturn, a rocket. Satellite. We have another one. Okay. Milky Way. Yeah. Uh, Very fun. Gotcha. So. This says shortcake biscuit with a milk chocolate base. All right. You're gonna go for the uh, satellite. You're gonna go for Saturn. Hmm. I'll go for Saturn. Yeah. All right. So there's the chocolate on the back, and here's what we were talking about: Ooh. the different things on the front. Mm -hmm. Got the Saturn. You're gonna dunk. All right. I will. It's already starting to melt in my hand, though. Do you want to dunk? Oh, peer pressure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Yeah, those are nice. The biscuit on these are very, very light. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, what, what does it remind me of? I like a Milano biscuit. Mm-hmm. With a, a chocolate layer. A bit like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Milk chocolate. It does say shortcake. Mm. I'm still always a little bit confused between shortcake and shortbread. I'm sure somebody will correct us in the comments, but I hear both. I'm not sure about the subtle differences between the two. Can you please let us know? Yeah. 
What is the difference between shortbread and shortcake? Yeah. 87 kcal per portion. I don't know what a portion is, but... Is it shortbread, shortcake? Or two biscuits. Two biscuits. So that's not bad, actually. 87 calories for two biscuits. Because that'll be nice, because they are, as we mentioned, they are on the light side. So if you're not too, too hungry, yeah. it might make a nice snack. I don't know about you. When I was a kid, I'd be nagging my parents to buy these all the time. <laughs> Just because when I was a kid, I was really into space. Oh, and NASA. yeah. You they know, are fun. Got the shooting star on the rocket. Hey, we're going to the store. You want anything? Yeah, oh, the shooting you? star is a new one. I hadn't seen that one yet. You want okay. to have it? No, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've had enough. But yeah, those are fun. The different uh, designs on the top of those. 12 a.m. That shooting star is going to be gone. Now, comparing the Milky Way to one of the Blissfuls, would you have a preference between those? Mm. Oh, that's a hard call. Um. <laughs> Putting me on the spot. I don't know. Uh, I like them both. I feel like, in a way, you're getting more biscuit with these. I might be wrong. Yeah, it just has a very light coating of chocolate on the back of it yeah I, I do feel like you're getting more of a more chocolate in here more chocolate with chocolate those cream. Yeah. yeah but they're, they're both enjoyable I, i'm having a hard time deciding <laughs> okay enough focus off me how about you what would you prefer i have to say i'd probably go for a blissful i really like that extra chocolate cream in there these felt more decadent than these these are nice because if, if you weren't too hungry if you only want to take a couple biscuits and 87 calories for those two biscuits is is really nice but I think I would prefer these. I really like that extra chocolate inside. There's a lot of chocolate cream here. You can see on the back, they show a close up of how filled these are with the chocolate cream. And I just really love that. Yeah, those are nice. Just, again, I know I said before, I'm trying to think of an equivalent that we have here. And then, no, <laughs> I can't think offhand anything that we have that's exactly like that. Maybe we do explore the, the cookie aisle a bit more often because we, we try to stay away as much as possible. <laughs> well, I do shop by myself sometimes and I do go uh, down the okay, cookie Okay, okay. Sorry. <laughs> and I haven't seen anything equivalent to that. But You know yeah. me, I always try to go on with blinders on. It's like, okay, I know Richard has sent us a lot of things. I don't need to look at anything else. No. <laughs> Your focus is on the cheese aisle. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah that's, that's my downfall is the cheese. So let us know in the comments, have you tried any of these McVitie's Blissfuls? Are these the three flavors they have available? Or are there more? I'm not sure. Or the Milky Way Biscuits. So let us know in the comments if you've had either of these and what you thought. So if you like food reactions and food tastings, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Also be sure to hit that notification bell so you know when we publish new videos. And until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.